Ah, what a nice day for taking the piss out of some sillies. It's so cloudy and misty. Well, it's always cloudy and misty around here. So, what do we have today? Flat out hero? I love that guy. He's so funny with his... Horns? What up? Hey, wait just one minute here. You, sir, are not flat out. What's going on here? Hmm? So. Alright, let me stop you right there. Something's off about this, and I'm not entirely sure what it could be. Nope, I'm drawing a blank here. I got another question. Oh, I'm all ears, not flat out. Well, get on with it. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Quite. Do you believe in gravity? Um, gravity is not a belief. Or do you believe in terminal velocity? Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say OR terminal velocity? They aren't exactly mutual exclusive. Well, shit. You're gonna say something silly, aren't you? No, you can't believe in both. <sighs> God damn it. Why don't you put your thinking glasses on? Uh, fine. Let me go get them. Making me do work and shit. There's a problem. No, I'm fine. I'm just trying to find the bloody... Why did you make me get this bloody... Oh, there it is. There. I put them on. What? Can we please continue now? Whenever you're driving in your car... You drive a car? Huh. Or whenever you're flying in an airplane... Uh-huh. When you're accelerating, yes, it doesn't matter how fast you're going. If you continue to accelerate, oh, for fuck's sake, could you, oh, I don't know, uh, get to a point anytime soon? Your wind resistance is never going to make it equal out so that you can't go any faster. So? So? So apart from the fastest plane we had flying around in our atmosphere called the SR-72 Blackbird, which literally heated up due to air resistance and had to be made out of special materials to avoid being melted. It also couldn't go any faster than that because it didn't have enough thrust to do so. Now I wonder, what would that resistance be called? Well? If we can go faster in, say, a subsonic jet, Then we can falling. How does gravity come into play? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am not editing this. This is what he does. He takes pauses. Really, really long pauses. I just wanted to give you guys the full effect. Just for a little bit. Now, let's see here. He wants to know why we can go faster in a subsonic jet compared to merely falling. It's quite amazing that somehow the fact the jet engine is a thing seems to elude him. And how does gravity come into play? Well, let's see. On the one hand we've got an airplane using its engines to propel it forward, causing its wings to provide lift using the air resistance, by forcing the air going over the wing to travel a longer path than below the wing. While on the other hand we've got some poor lad falling towards the ground without a chute, eventually reaching terminal velocity of roughly 9.8 meters per second squared. And somehow he is expecting this poor soul to be able to breach this air resistance without any way to propel himself? Indeed. We're creating much more air resistance in a subsonic jet. And thrust. So why... Why is the air resistance suddenly stopping us from accelerating when we're dropping? Because the air resistance versus the gravitational acceleration will eventually come to an equilibrium. Basically, cancelling each other out. What kind of bullshit is that? I do believe the official term is horse shit, but no, it's not applicable in this case. <sighs> Do you believe in gravity? Didn't we already go over this? No, I don't believe in gravity, as it is not a belief. We see the effects gravity has on things. This force can be measured, not to mention it can be used to make predictions. And we had to give it a name. In comes gravity. Oh, 
and that predictive nature is the most important part of this. Or do you believe in where in air uh, terminal velocity? Air resistance is never going to stop a vehicle. Well, now that was a bunch of words. First of all, a vehicle will definitely start to slow down once you no longer put the pedal to the metal. Keep this shit up long enough and it will come to a dead stop. Now, for a ground vehicle, there's more factors at play in the form of friction, engine or wheel resistance and air resistance. However, for an airplane, the only cause for drag is... Air resistance. And if you slow down enough, the plane would go into a stall, which means there isn't enough forward momentum to provide lift. And here comes some of that lovely irony against your silliness. If we would shut off the engines on an airplane, it would turn into a hard to handle glider, which would gradually start to slow down. However, pitching the nose down will speed it up, giving it more lift due to its increased speed. And by pitching the nose up, we can slow down the plane once more, which in turn also decreases its lift because of the decreasing speed. It's just a little micro-environment of gravity versus momentum versus air resistance versus lift. And I'm pretty sure you know about the Vomit comic doing this exact same thing by going exactly 9.8 meters per second squared, which causes a zero gravity environment. Strange how that works. I might have knocked the air out of him. So why is gravity's exponentially increasing force as it gets closer to the Earth's core? How is the wind resistance able to stop an object from accelerating that way? Ah, and there it is. Somehow he thinks the gravitational acceleration is exponentially higher at sea level compared to up in the air of let's say 10 kilometers. And while there is a difference, it is nearly negligible and is mostly negated by the comparatively negligible increase in air density towards sea level. That is where terminal velocity is concerned, obviously. Now, gravity is far from uniform around the planet. In some places it's slightly higher due to land mass, mountains and such. The greatest influence on it would be your longitude. But even that is a mere 0.35% difference between the poles and the equator. Approximately. The amusing thing here is that this relatively minor difference just so happens to be quite the hint for the Earth's rotational axis. Or rather, it rotating on its axis. You believe in gravity? Or do you believe in terminal velocity? Think real hard. Huh. How about you start thinking? Flat out here out. Gotta love that repetition on display once more. This was quite basic shit. Even making me find my thinking glasses. I definitely didn't need them for this crap. What, are we just scraping the bottle of the barrel here? Although, must be one big ass barrel with all of them on the bottom. <laughs>